how to factor general trinomial where a equals 1. Factor general trinomial where a equals 1. So, wherein the leading value is 1. Example, um, ax squared plus 2b plus 3. Your, um, your first term here or the leading term is has a factor of 1 or the value is 1. Another example is ax squared plus 2x plus 1. So here, your x squared, the leading one, has a value of 1 only. So that is why where a equals 1. So let us now factor it. <clears throat> example. Um, first example is x squared plus 12 x plus 27 so there are three steps three steps first the step one is factor the last term factor the last term so from the given what is the last term so let us count this is the first term second term and this is the third term. So, this is the last term. So, our last term is 27. Then, we will make a table. So, determine the factors of 27 and the product. So, what are those multiples of... What are those numbers? If you will multiply, will give you 27. So, first is 1 times or we will be specific with the sign. So, positive 1 times positive 27 will give you positive 27. Uh, let's reverse. Uh, this table is only a trial and error to determine. Determine all the possible um, values that will give us uh, the, multi the product of 27. So, since we made here, we use positive numbers positive 1 positive 27 we will use another is um, negative 1 and negative 27 so negative 1 times negative 27 will give us positive 27 we need to have a positive 27 because the given here is positive 27 next um, what are other numbers so 3 times 9 so 3 times 9 will give you positive 3 positive 9 will give you positive 27 so another if we use the positive we will also use both negative negative 3 times negative 9 will give you positive 27 these are the factors of 27 that is for step 1 step 2 <clears throat> in step 2 is we need to sum sum of the factors equal to the middle term sum the factors sum of the factors then equals to the middle term what is the middle term so from the given this is the first term second and third if 27 is the last term then our mid term is or the middle term is 12x so that is uh, the middle term is 12x so it should be 12 12 <clears throat> so now we we will be using this table the values of this table copy here factors of 27 then on the other column we will be placing already sum it should be 12 it should be 12 the sum so let us do this first the positive 1 and 27 positive 1 
um, positive 7, we will add. So, 1 plus 27, 28. It's not x, 28. It should be 12. Next, negative 1 plus negative 1, then negative 27. So, negative 1 plus we will be using close and open parenthesis to negative 27. So, since they are same sign, we need to add. So, 27 plus 1 is 28. But, copy the sign. So, negative 28. So, it's not. Next. That's the, let's take the third. 3 times 9. So, 3 plus 9. Positive. Both positive. So, 3 plus 9. It's 12. Okay, 12. Next, let's do that, the third. So, both negative. Negative 3 plus negative 9. Open plus parenthesis to separate the operation. So, now, since they are same sign, add 9 times 9 plus 3, 12. Copy the sign. Negative. So, now, among here, which is or which has the same with the middle term, which is 12. So, it is the 3 and 9. 12. So, this is the answer or this is the process for step 2. For step 3, Step 3. Let us now set up parentheses. Set up paren uh, set up parentheses. Parenthesis. How is that? Very simple. So make two parentheses. Place x why there why only 2x because it is because from our given from our given it's x squared there are 2x <clears throat> 2x so therefore 1 1 then from our step 2 since these two numbers if you add multiply these two numbers 9 3 times 9 will give you 27 you and then you add them 3 plus 9 will give you 12 so it will result to your middle term 12 so let's copy since it is positive 3 place plus 3 since it is positive 9 place 9 so therefore the factors of factors of x squared plus 12x plus 27 this is our given the factors of x squared x squared plus 12x plus 27 is equals to x plus 3 and x plus 9 that's the answer